so I am back with another video and this time it is going to be my first fall makeup look. So of course I know usually fall looks are going to have a dark lip but I'm going to save that for my next makeup tutorial. Um, I wanted to do more of a like metallic, I guess it's like a cranberry type of eye because I just got this beautiful shadow from NYX that I have just been dying to use. Also, I did just want to mention that, yes, my channel name has changed. My sweater keeps falling off. I decided to just go with my first and last name now, and I did change some of my social media and like my business email and things like that. I'm just kind of going and rebranding myself. But yeah, so any of that information that you need is of course gonna be down in the description box below. Anyway, this is enough talking, so let's go ahead and get into it. So first, that is me saying happy fall, y'all. And my eyebrows are already done, so I'm gonna jump into my eyes. I'm grabbing my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre to prime my lids, and I'm just using my finger to put that on. So first I'm jumping into my Manny MUA Makeup Geek palette and I'm taking this color Sora on a large blending brush and I'm just going to put that right into my crease to start off my transition color. And now into the same palette, I'm grabbing the color right next to it called Frappe and I'm going to also pop this in the crease just to deepen up the color a little bit and I just really like these warm tones for this look. Now going into my Kat Von D Shade and Light Eyes palette, I'm grabbing this brick red color and you guys know these are the toughest names to say so that'll be down in the description box. But again, I'm putting this into my crease just using a very light hand to make sure I don't put too much. And now I'm grabbing this NYX Prismatic Shadow, it's called Fireball and I just love it so much. I'm putting this on a flat shader brush and then just tapping this right on my lid, making sure I don't put it in my crease at all. And just, it's so pigmented and so pretty. I just love it for like the main focal point of this look. And then again, grabbing that brick red from Kat Von D, I'm going to grab this tiny little blending brush and put this right on the outer corner of my lid. And then you can see here, I'm also blending that up into my crease, but I'm making sure I keep it more pigmented just on the outer half. I don't drag it too far into the crease. Now I'm grabbing another shade from NYX, and this is called Lace. It's just a matte cream color, and you guys know these are my favorite types of shade for my brow bone highlight. And then just grabbing my Maybelline Gel Liner in black, I'm going to go ahead and tight line my upper lash line really quick. Now taking this Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyelining Pen, I am going to throw on some wings. I don't show you like the whole process, but a good chunk of it. And now, of course, so random, I'm grabbing my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer and I'm going to jump right into my face. I'll come back and finish my eyes in a little bit. So then grabbing my Clinique Beyond Perfection, um, the two-in-one foundation and concealer, I'm going to dab this all over my face and then use my damp beauty blender to blend it out. And I know at first it does look a little bit yellow, but you'll see as it oxidizes, everything blends and it looks good. Now taking my NARS Creamy, or Radiant Creamy Concealer, sorry, it's in the shade Creme Brulee, yeah, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm going to go ahead and put that on underneath my eyes to highlight and then blend it out with my damp beauty blender. And then I'm also going to highlight a little bit on my forehead, my cupid's bow, my nose, and my chin. And again, of course, blend that out with my beauty blender. And now I'm taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I'm going to bake under my eyes and just using my Beauty Blender again. And then using a large fluffy brush, I'm just using a little bit of the powder to set the rest of my face and then going back and wiping off the excess from underneath my eyes. 
Now jumping into my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit, I'm grabbing this color called Fawn and I'm going to go ahead and contour my cheekbones and then up onto my temple and up onto my forehead a little bit. Now grabbing this BH Cosmetics blush palette, I'm just grabbing these kind of peachy like neutral tones and I'm just going to mix them together to get my perfect blush and I forgot how much I love this little blush palette like it's so convenient. And now here I am back to my eyes. I'm just curling my lashes really quickly. And then I'm going to put on this Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. I'm just putting a little bit on because I am going to go ahead and throw on some falsies. But for my falsies, I didn't use the whole strip. I actually took my Demi Wispies and cut them in half and just used the little outer corner of it because I really, I don't know why, I just didn't feel like wearing a whole strip lash. So I just put it on the outer half of my lids and I don't know, I really like how it ended up looking. And then just going back in and touching up my liner over top of my lash glue. And then again with this brick red color from Kat Von D, I'm going to take a pencil brush and just really smoke out that bottom lash line. And then taking that NYX pres Prismatic, Prismatic? Shadow called Fireball again. I'm going to put this on the inner corner and then into the middle. I didn't touch the outer corner with this shade at all. I just kept the shimmer more on the inside of my eye. And then again with my Maybelline gel liner, I'm going to line just the outer part of my waterline, of my bottom waterline, just to define it a little bit more. And then of course, grabbing my Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara and throwing that on my bottom lashes. And now back to the face, I'm grabbing my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in the shade Mimosa and just throwing this all over my cheekbones and like up onto my forehead a little bit. And then of course I'm going to grab my MAC Fix Plus and drench myself with it until I am glowing. And then for lips, like, look at how pretty that packaging is, guys. This is from Beauty Bakery, and it is their lip whip called Fortune Cookie. And it is basically a liquid lipstick, but it is amazing. I love it. It's just it's so pretty in the packaging and on your lips. So after that, that's going to be it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.